many clients have blinders on when they're thinking about doing a 1031 exchange. They may think, I've got $500,000 of net proceeds. All I have to do is redeploy my $500,000. And they're not thinking about the fact that they also need to exchange into a property of equal or greater value. So I might have $500,000 of proceeds, but my relinquished property was worth $2 million. That means I got to buy a $2 million replacement property or greater in order to continue my investment into an equivalent property. So it's not just redeploying the cash, it's redeploying the cash into enough replacement property. Furthermore, to the extent that you paid off debt or mortgages on your relinquished property, you've got to offset that debt relief on the purchase of the replacement property by either taking out new debt, say a million and a half of new debt, or you could add cash out of your own pocket to offset the debt relief or some combination of new debt, new cash. But think about it as going up or equal in value, reinvesting all of your equity or proceeds, and finally washing or offsetting your debt relief on the replacement property. If you do those three things, you're generally going to be A-OK -okay and defer 100% of your gains.